Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Tony Z TV. I obviously am Tony. <laughs> and today we're going to be doing another paranormal reaction video. It's actually going to be two videos that I'm going to be doing today on today's video. One was actually sent to me by somebody on Instagram. Her name is Amber's <laughs> Asylum. Um, I, whenever you see the video, I'll show you her channel. Make sure you all go and subscribe to her channel and check out some of her investigations. She sent me some of her best and scariest EVPs to react to. What the frick are you doing? I don't care about Microsoft Editor Browser Extension. What the heck? My goodness. <laughs> Trying to do an intro and I got stuff already popping off, scaring the crap out of me in notifications. I got to figure out how to turn that crap off. Anyway, she sent me her scariest and creepiest EVPs. It's about 11 minutes long, so I decided I'm going to put her video up or react to her video. And then we're going to react to another channel when I was randomly researching for more scary ghost videos. I found a channel called Ghost Bump, I believe is the name of it. And it was the scariest ghost videos you can't watch alone. Well, guess what, Ghost Bump? Your boy's watching it alone. <laughs> so <laughs> this should be very creepy and very interesting. I'm looking forward to checking it out. As always, if you enjoy the video, please be sure to hit the like button. That really helps the channel with the growth. Be sure to subscribe if you're new and make sure that you hit that little notification bell because I've had issues in the past on any of my YouTube channels that I've created, this one or the gaming channel, with people not getting notified when new videos release. So make sure you hit that and let me know in the comments below if you're getting notified or not. Hopefully that's an issue that's fixed and I don't have that problem anymore. But yeah, let's, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this paranormal and scary videos. All right, so here we are with Amber's Asylum first. Right here, you can see the name of her channel. It's spelled with a Z, so make sure you all go and show Amber some love and subscribe to her channel. This is the video right here we're going to watch, Best and Scariest EVPs. So let's go ahead and jump into that right now. Up here. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This video is going to be a recap of some of the most I'm turning that off. Um, EVPs that I've caught myself. Um, there are going to be a few on here that haven't really seen the channel yet. Um, oh, that should be cool. They may have been on the Instagram, but I'm just moving them off to the channel. Um, some of them are really interesting. Some of them also took place during like public events, which is why they haven't really been on the channel. Um, they didn't really get their own investigation type thing. Interesting. So I've been trying to film for the past couple of days for this episode and other has just not been cooperating. And then I've been trying to film this intro and my cat keeps making noises. And people huh. across the street I know that feeling all too well. Anyway, um, I'm always having background noise. Whether it's my air conditioner or somebody driving outside. Some of the most memorable uh, EVPs that I've caught. So let's get started. Also, my cat is here to give you some enjoyment for. What a cute cat! Missing out. I'm nervous because this oh, is way okay. too happy go lucky for a, <laughs> a ghost EVP video, man. Do you have anything to say to the folks? That's a pretty cat, though. Just playing around. Okay. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I was expecting sudden creepy music, man. What the heck? What are you doing to me? There's also two mirrors. Yeah. Three mirrors. No, yeah, there's. Yeah, I see creepy dolls already. What the frick is that thing? It's the weirdest looking doll I've ever seen. Do you want more toys? Whatever this spirit is, I think All it's got money. enough toys. What the frick is that? Oh man, I heard that. Sarah, how old are you? I heard it go. I hear a lot of weird whispery sounds to Does me. Does anybody want to tell me what Sarah is? A liar? I didn't quite hear Don't that. Do that. No. Does anybody know? Is Sarah your friend? What the frick 
was that? What up? Was that in the video or did I just hear some kid outside my house, man? I swear I just heard a kid. You go back. Is she nice to play with? I think I actually heard somebody yelling outside my house and I thought it was in a video. That was so creepy. <laughs> what the heck, man? Do you want to stand over by it? So that way we can see you? Woo! I heard that loud as day. Don't screw you. What? Get out of the back. Oh, shh. This ghost doesn't want to be messed with. Don't do it, don't really. She just. It's just like. Way to blind your partner, Sabrina. Hold up. What are we. What are we in a library, man? This ghost is shushing people now? What the heck is going on? Can I come say hi? Why is it saying you're mean? Is there any nurses down here working, working late? That sounded like a residual. What is that? Oh my goodness, Amber, your vo oh, voices are scaring me more than the EVPs, man. I thought there was some loudspeaker going on. That was freaking eerie. Being to be around. Oh my goodness, the way these whispers. Don't scream. Nobody's screaming. What the? Man. I don't know what to think of these because some of these I don't hear them, but some of them I definitely hear them. But the subtitles help. Was that hissing or was it a freaking ghost taking a leak in the corner, man? Like, it sounded like something just downed a couple beers and had to go, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> that didn't sound like a hiss to me. It sounded like something taking a leak in the corner. Face? Now, granted, I guess these are technically out of context because I'm not watching the entire investigation. So maybe if I, if you guys want to watch the full investigations, then the EVPs. We'll be more in context with what's going on. I like tensed up like something. Whoa! Hit when Ghost starts saying. Yeah. yeah, but I thought she... I was gonna walk into the door. She said but she felt like something was gonna hit her, and the ghost said something hit her. All the cars outside and the people mm. with the freedom. That must have been torturous for you. How did that make you feel? I don't want to hear a response for this. How freaking dark it is, man. You can't see anything. I didn't hear the kill you, but I did hear the hiss. A yeah, big dang place to be that dark. Look at that, man. It's like just going out in the silent hill in the nighttime. Oh, man. Here we go. Spirit box sessions. Whoa. More what? Oh, it smells down here. I didn't hear it. I couldn't understand that one. Whatever this stuff is that's making these threats, man, this ain't no normal spirit. Is this your favorite spot to come here? Sounds evil. So what would you do if a correction officer came down here? Cut! Because from my understanding, Okay, so you must be in a... Here. So you're in a prison here. It was used for or a little bit about it. See, I can't hear that one. I just hear. I just want to with oh, the breath. If you want to tell us anything, we can hear you. I heard that one. I want to. That I want to was kind of creepy because it was like I want to. Like just a little freaking creepy goblin man. I want to. I want to. <laughs> I don't know what the heck I'm doing. I'm gonna shut up. <laughs> Good video. What? Hold up! That didn't even sound like a ghost. What the heck was that? 
Just called her a whiny bee? That just sounded like some kid. No, I didn't go back far enough. Let's go back. We'll go back to I want to right here. I'm not That sounds like a kid. Whiny B. What is there, a 12-year-old in this prison, man? Fine, what did that kid do? Something on your chair, dude. Mm. I don't know, girlfriend. I got man, that thing don't want you there. That will be pointed over here. That sounded southern. It's over there. Get out. I can't do a southern accent. It's the worst southern accent I've ever heard, and it was my own trying to. <laughs> I tried to do a southern accent. That was disgustingly bad. I'm sorry, southern I'm friends. I'm pretty sure that you messed up my camera stuff, which quite frankly doesn't make me very happy. Somehow I feel like the ghost probably doesn't care. Church bell. <laughs> Why is it? Why is there church bells ringing? What are the odds? That's something like hell's that bells to me, like man. That was deep. I don't know. You can see where the building was on fire. Oh. It was actually on fire. Whoa. Here's the projector. He's talking about. <laughs> I gotta say before we get into this next part, that some of these ghosts are douchebags, man. The guy's talking about how it was on fire, and the ghost is just like, "Yeah, no crap." Like, man, leave the man alone. He's trying to explain it to people that don't know. Obviously, you know you probably died in the fire. No need to be a jerk about it. Well, this one seems nice. It's just saying hi. It really wants to get her attention. It said hi and then hey. What the heck was that? I'm hearing all sorts of noises, man. I said hi like three times. It really wants her to hear it. That's what that would have to really suck if you're really trying to say hey, but they can't hear you until later on. I bet that's so frustrating as a ghost. Can you say my name in the device right here? Mommy. That was eerie. That don't sound like no kid to me. How many spirits are here? Man. Do you ever really want to know how many are there? <laughs> Do you really? 30? What? Th 30 spirits in a freaking house, man? What the heck has happened in this house? I heard ready to go. I didn't hear radical. I don't know. 30 spirits, and then they say radical. That's pretty creepy. 30. I can't I can't even wrap my head around that, man. I'd be getting the frick out of there. I'm like, all right, see y'all later. Have fun at your freaking orgy party or whatever the heck you 30 sp <laughs> spirits are doing in this house. I don't know how big that house is. Some kind of midnight paranormal rave or something. They're having a full-on conversation, man. What the heck? What was that? That was creepier than the EVPs. All my investigations can be like on the YouTube channel here. I would really love to know your guys' opinions on where you want me to go next. What kind of investigations you would like to see man. in the future. So, if you guys have a location that you really want to see, um, type that below in the comments. So that way I can see it and then I can write it down. So I'm going to make sure that I can look into it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Alright. Make sure you all check out Amber's Asylum. Maybe on a later video we'll react to a full investigation. But right now we're going to go ahead and jump into that Ghost Bumps video. Hopefully I can remember which one it is. But yeah, there were some really creepy ones. That I still can't get over the fact that that one said there was 30 spirits in that tiny little house. Like, what the heck, man? 30? That's freaking ridiculous. I guess. Now I'm not going to be able to find this channel, am I? Now I'm not going to be able to find this dang channel. <laughs> the 
the biggest story of my life. I won't be able to find the channel. The problem with being subscribed to too many channels. There we go. Five scary ghost videos you can't watch. No, that's not it. Yeah, it is. Five scary ghost videos you can't watch alone. Oh, this channel's got a lot of videos. That's what we're going to go to. It's going to run for, looks like it's about 13 minutes long. All right. Spreaker has oh my god, not the freaking manage and monetize your podcast. There's dang ads, five man. Five ghost videos you can't watch alone. Here we go. Number five. Freak Many me places out. places around the world claim to be the most haunted place on earth. The following is one of them. The house in question is located in the town of Villisca, Iowa in the US. Villisca, Over a century Iowa. ago, specifically on the night of June 9, 1912, a horrendous unsolved crime took place in this family home where eight people sadly lost their lives. Oh, I've they heard of that. bludgeoned by a heavy duty act while sleeping and to this day, no one knows who did it or why. Didn't this ghost adventures go there? is said to be severely haunted by the eight spirits who are trapped there, six of which are children. Colin from The Paranormal Files decided to rent the building out for the night. He made a mini series out of this. However, I will be focusing on his final video on the matter as he stayed the night alone. It's around oh. 2 a.m. and he starts off the investigation You're brave dude, man. with a REM pod device next Dig to the goosebumps him. He starts shirt, to by go the way. absolutely berserk and Colin picks up multiple disheveled voices and sounds. Okay, see you guys. You everywhere. You're okay. in for a scare. <laughs> Hopefully that's not copyright. <laughs> okay, so it's 147 right now. But I'm Bro, he needs a new phone. That <laughs> for because we really didn't get to it. That phone is shattered, man. What the heck? I am upstairs. I'm gonna set the REM pod up. The brave dude didn't come here. here by yourself, man. Bentley over here. Oh, he's got a dog with him. That poor dog. The REM pod's already going off. The thing was already going off. As soon as he looks at it, it stops. Oh, no, that's eerie. Uh, see, orbs don't do it for me. I always think that that can be just that can be clarified as dust. Yeah, that just looks like dust to me. Oh, look at look at Bentley. It's like he sees something over there. Uh, I don't know if he sees something or he's just reacting to the REM pod that's going off. That's probably what he sees, in my opinion. Yeah, that was interesting, wasn't it, buddy? Oh, I just heard a whisper. Weird. Yeah, I definitely heard a whisper, man. Weird. Breathe in. That's weird. That sounds like a girl's voice saying something. Is there anybody here with us? Could you knock on something like this? What the frick is this? As if the freaking other ads weren't bad enough. So let's just knock back. Man, there's a lot of voices going on in this house. If you're in here, come let me know. I don't know what this, something's Having shuffling had around. Of the downstairs area, Colin moves to the upstairs bedroom. He captures more strange sounds and anomalies. Hello? Are the Moors here? The Stillingers? How many people live in this house? I heard a like one little thud. Can you use your voice and tell me who you are. If this is the children, you don't need to be afraid of me. I don't think you're or dealing with parents, kids, man. The Moors or the Stillingers, but if there's any other evil energy, I'm not Hex here to mess around. Finally, he heads to so the attic. like you were scared to say that. Why were you squinting like that? The attic. This is where the perpetrator hid with the axe that fateful night over 100 years prior. You guys have been pretty quiet tonight. Maybe walk up the stairs. Woo! Oh man, that one. Okay, Whoa. that one got me. That got me. That was freaking loud. Oh my goodness. Forget it. I'd be gone. Nope! 
Not today, ghost. You can have this house and everything in it. Whoa. I'm gone. <laughs> I'm out. Number Screw four. That. So I found this relatively untouched YouTube channel with a bunch of paranormal footage. The poster and owner of this channel was called Lyle Shao, and he posted 12 short videos to his channel back in 2014. We will be looking at those most of short. these today. The videos are taken via the same camera placed at different points around Lyle's house. These places include the kitchen, basement, living room, and Ooh, front bad room. Bad cameras Here are some of the most intriguing highlights from all of these videos what is it with the, everybody having these worst cameras man i can't wait for when the stuff is like more hd i see what could be orbs or could be dust i mean i don't know it seems like orbs there's a lot of it though i mean i guess i could just be insects flying around okay that what the heck is that there was like a weird it was like a, okay, so the normal orbs I thought were just insects, and then I saw this weird, oh yeah, what is this right here? It looks like a freaking tapeworm, man. <laughs> or like silly string. I feel like it's just a really dirty house. That, I feel like, was like a moth or something, some kind of insect. There's a lot going on in these videos, but see with the, oh my, why do I keep getting these stupid ads now? It's so annoyed that I'm skipping the ads and it's throwing them into the video itself. It's just, it's so blurry, man. I feel like it could just be contamination of the film itself. With the camera being that blurry. I can't even see, like, I can't really see what's going on. I was expecting to see, like, some shadow figures peeking around corners or something. Yeah, what's even happening in this? I don't see the chairs moving. There's some kind of weird, like, long worm thing moving around, I guess. I see this shadow right here, but I'm pretty sure that's just the investigator. Number three, the following video was submitted to my email from a guy called Cobretti who lives in Pasadena, Texas. He claims that for years, him and his wife have been blaming their kids for not closing the cabinet doors as Ooh. they always enter the kitchen and this could be a little more interesting. Open. And before we continue, I need to point out that Cobretti's channel is solely food reviews and he has little to no interest That's interesting. in posting paranormal videos. But moving on, one day Cobretti entered his kitchen and saw the cabinet moving on its own. He quickly whipped out his phone to start recording and caught two instances of it on camera. Now as his camera is close to the mm. cupboard and high quality, you can tell there is nothing attached to the cabinet. This is why I feel the following clip is legitimate, but what do you think? Uh, the question is, when it comes to cabinets it's tough, because it's weird that they're opening, but could the house just not be level when it was built. Like maybe it was built at a slight slant so the cabinets every now and again kind of just open themselves. It's only one cabinet. It'd be more intriguing to me if it was every cabinet at the same time and they just flew open. But that's kind of a gradual opening. Like the house could be slanted, maybe there's a fan or some kind of... I don't think it's a breeze because I don't think it would open that forcefully. Okay, I see this ad about to pop up. I'm not going to let it scare me Welcome this time. Welcome to Raid Shadow Legends. If you're wondering just what you're getting into, Raid Shadow Shut up! Number two. One of the watch most scary haunted ghost hotels videos. in America is Miss Molly's Hotel, located in Fort Worth, Texas. A TripAdvisor review written by Tammy from 2014 says, The first trip, my mom and sister caught a shadow going across oh, the Oh, here we go. This is what I was waiting for. In the sitting area. You could clearly see the shadow, but you saw nothing in the mirror. No one was Eerie. in the hotel at that time. Because of all these stories and rumors, YouTube group Proper Life decided to go and stay Let's for the night. Hotel. Firstly, they come up against a blocked door that even has the keyhole stuffed so you just can't what? see through. 
Oh, why is that blocked like that? Is that for the other person's room? Yeah, yeah, and it's yeah, it's uh, that. Why is it blocked yeah, like that? Tissue. That's not gonna block there's, it. There's there's tissue, tissue stuffed tissue in the keyhole. Yeah, so you don't go through. Leave them alone. Why? There's gotta be something on the other side of that door. A young girl who died in one of the rooms back when the hotel was. There has to be something on the other side of that door. Why would you block it and then stuff tissue so you can't use the key? That's so weird. This room is the most active and most haunted room. It has. Woo! Probably After those strange occurrences, that got me a little one of the bit. guys goes and reads a previous resident story from the hotel's feedback booklet. Like, let's just look to a random page here. We stayed in room three with Emma. So we asked Emma to put her hand. I heard that pillow. thud again. Um, They're not reacting sure to it enough, though, so maybe it was one of them. We came back and there was a small handprint on the pillow. Is that the room we were just in? Yeah. A handprint on the pillow. Hello? I feel like someone trying to get in the room. Tyson. Man, this ghost gotta take a dump. <laughs> Let him in. So who He's gotta go. What was moving that doorknob and the red fabric earlier in the video? But moving on to part two, the guys capture strange sounds and things moving when there's no wind. What? It's like someone's lightly pressing against the door to listen in. That's eerie. One second. That's eerie. I hear it. Quiet, quiet. Yeah. What the? It's like I didn't hear anything. Okay, try that again. There was nothing there. Yeah, on that one, I didn't hear anything. If that's you, who are you? Are you making that noise on the door? What? I very faintly heard that. Look at the mirror. Why is the mirror the mirror? It's not moving. It's only it's not moving. It's only slower. It was moving more violent. I don't know about this one. And now it's moving barely. It's only moving so violent. Oh my God! It's like they then proceed to set up a portal box, which allows spirits to converse via manipulation. That's of how are you gonna words. move a mirror? You can expect something manipulating the audio. What's, What's your name? <laughs> What's with the weird music? It's like John? carnival music. It's Josie. <laughs> John Jones. Well, I can tell you it ain't John Jones. Last I checked, he was still Mr. alive Jones, fighting in the UFC, man. <laughs> Do you have friends here? Used to. I just want to take a little bit of a break real quick, because that is... That's getting me. Number one. This next series of videos was also submitted to my email, this time from a YouTuber called Joe Stump. The story Joe tells is that him and his fiance were looking around a flea market when they stumbled upon an old mirror which the seller said was haunted. Being skeptics to the paranormal, Joe and his fiance decided to purchase it as it was only around $5. Once they got home, they got to work $5. investigating the mirror and there are four different videos a that haunted I found mirror for very $5. confusing yet intriguing. What I found most most strange was the black figure moving on the right side and also the unexplainable sounds the camera picks up. What the frick? Yo, this is creepy, man. This is like that Harry Potter mirror, but with a dark side. Like when he looks in that mirror and he sees his parents. Is that a little kid? Why did I just hear somebody yell, ill? I saw something move, for sure. Did you freaking mirror a portal, man? What is going on? Like video and subscriber if you're still watching. And sorry I didn't post for like a week and a half. I was just a little bit burnt okay, out on videos because I made like 2,000 videos on YouTube. That wasn't like absolutely horrifying. Did he just say he's made over 2,000 videos? That's a lot of videos, dude. Props to you. Go ahead and subscribe to that channel. Maybe we'll react to some more videos from him in the future. But overall, I didn't find anything too super. I'm going to go ahead and drop a like right there. I didn't find anything too too super scary in that video. I mean, it said you can't watch alone, but I watched it alone perfectly fine. I didn't have, <laughs> I didn't really have any issues. So you probably could watch them alone. 
Uh, maybe we'll check out some of these other ones in the future. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. I had a fun time. I think uh, Amber's Asylum, some of those EVPs were really, really creepy. And some of them were just douchebag ghosts. Man. <laughs> like, they were just jerks. But yeah, I had a fun time. Hopefully you all had a fun time as well. I will catch you all in the next video. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Hit that little notification bell so you can be notified whenever I release a new video. And uh, hit that like button while you're at it so I know that you're enjoying the content and want to see more. Drop a co any comments below if you heard anything or saw anything that I didn't quite catch when I was watching this stuff. Let me know. If you have any kind of videos that you would like to send my way for me to watch, hit me up on Twitter at it's still Tonysaurus Rex, which is T-O-N-Y-S-A-U-R-U-S-R-E-K-S. I don't know why I'm spelling it out. I'll just drop a link to the Twitter and the Instagram and all that stuff in the description below. And I'll also leave another link directly to the channels that we watch today in the description below as well. And I will catch you all in the next video. But until then, peace out, everybody. Bye-bye.